Hey, what up guys? Welcome to the Man Cave. For the people that did see my Instagram TV video, uh, welcome to the second part of that video. For the people that did not see my Instagram video, go ahead and take a look at my Instagram, at Gregor. That's the first part. That was on Air Max Day. So it's not Air Max Day anymore, but I still had two boxes that I wanted to open. So the first one already opened, and now comes the second part. Here we go. Pull for freshness. That I will do. I will pull for freshness. Where's that pull thingy? I'm glad these did not get stolen. I thought Nike quit using these boxes, but apparently they still use these. So let's see how fresh we can get. Uh-oh, what does it say? I already, actually, I already know what it says. You help plant a tree. A tree, I planned a tree. So that's good. I like that they're doing that. And I, I do, I do, but I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but it's cool if they put that over here, but please don't do pool for freshness because these boxes, I mean, I never got one stolen because my delivery guy is an amazing guy. He doesn't steal my boxes, but you never know. Well, somebody somewhere might do. Look at this. This says Nike. If you're thinking, okay, so that's a Nike, what's in there? There's an Adidas sneaker in here. Obviously not. No. This is a collab with Supreme. Wait a second. For the people that did not see my Instagram video, you still get to see what sneaker I unboxed. Now I can hear you thinking, wait, you bought the same sneaker twice? So is this also going to be the white one? It might, it might not be. No, ladies and gentlemen. This is the black version, the, the one that looks like it came out of space. This is sick. Actually, when I first saw this sneaker, I thought black was going to be better. And now that I'm holding it in my hand, I kind of like red too. I no, I still think this is a bit better. It's more space kind of stuff. I mean, these are, these are a love it or hate it sneaker. A lot of people were hating on these because they, well, nobody actually bought this sneaker when they first came out, like the Tailwind 4 itself. I kind of think these are dope. So these came out in 1999. I was only 12, so I definitely did not have the money to buy sneakers like this. And that's why I didn't really see them. Yeah, I never, I never had a Tailwind before. So I saw these and I was like, this is sick. Is this a new, is this a whole new sneaker? But it's not. I mean, it's a Tailwind 4. It already came out in 1999, but I think these are sick. I love them. I was like, all right, this is dope. And I still remember that time though. That's when Gabba was pretty hot. I mean, I wasn't really much of a Gabba. Still, I love the sneakers. Not a big fan of the BW though, but this one, like all of the other Air Maxes, like Air Max 95, Air Max 97, 98, I think those are dope. Remix with the TN, not like the original TN, not a huge fan of that, but the hybrids though, and, and I mean some colorways. The colorway does make a shoe, so these are dope. Now let's compare these with this bad boy over here. I'll be honest, I love how uh, this is like light gray-ish. It's not cool gray, I don't think. It's a bit lighter than cool gray, but I love how it's not completely white, but cool gray with white, and red is obviously dope it's really red but still pretty cool though so if you if you look at them like together i mean it's the same but this one looks more like it came out of space for some reason and somehow it might be because this is black somehow this over here the lining which is uh like a plastic tube kind of thing uh it is iridescent it it shines more on the black one than it does on the white one uh, this one just, it, it looks like it came out of space. And I love the blue accent on this though. I haven't worn them outside yet, but I think these are dope. So these came out on, on, on Thursday last week. It was kind of an Air Max day kind of thing, sort of. I wasn't able to buy them on that Thursday when they dropped on Supreme, because I'll be honest, uh, I was still sleeping. And then when I, that's, I mean, that's bad, 12 o'clock, I was still sleeping. But in my defense, I still had a jet lag from Vegas, so, right? Um, I wasn't sort of, I don't know. But then on Saturday, though, all of a sudden, I saw them on, what was it, Friday? I saw these on the sneakers app, and I was like, wait, wait, wait a second. They're going to release them on the sneakers app as well? I set my alarm. My alarm went off, and I was like, 
Hey. Oh yeah, I need the sneakers. So tried to do the face scan, didn't work because my face was still poofy and sleepy. I was like, but for some reason I managed to get them both. This is so dope. Yeah, I, I do think I prefer the black one, but the white one is pretty insane as well. Shall I wear them like this? Well, I don't have two left feet, but I don't think this looks good at all. I think I'll either wear the white ones or the black ones. You don't get an extra set of laces with it. It would have been cool if they had like blue laces with these, red ones with these. I'll be honest, I'm not sure, quite sure if I would, I would use the blue one. I would definitely use the red ones though. A couple of cool details on these though. What you expect from a Nike with Supreme collab. It says Supreme over here and then Air Max over here, but that's the same with the original one. And then obviously it says world famous on the tips of the laces and Supreme over here. So they didn't overdo it. That's actually all of the, yeah, and obviously the insole, but that's all of the Supreme logos on it. So other than that, it doesn't say Supreme, but this is an amazing sneaker. So glad I got these. Materials are good. Quality is good. Not a lot of flaws on these. I can see a little bit of glue underneath the hair. There's a little floof sticking out over here, but I can cut that off. This is the size of a small UFO ship and an alien could fit in here because I have size 13, which is pretty big. They look like they came from out of space. So space cowboys, but we're going to see what they look like on feet. I want to show you guys what it looks like and I want to see it for myself. Oh yeah, here we go. I got the matching. Supreme socks, obviously. I love the reflectiveness on these sneakers though. There's a lot going on, even though it's one sort of, one color, nearly one color. Now that I'm wearing them, these actually remind me a lot of the Skeptas. Let me just grab those. They look a lot alike, don't they? Well, I love the Skeptas too, so that's why I, probably why I like these as well. But yeah. I'm not talking about you today, Skepta. Even the back heel is the same, but those are obviously a different kind of sneaker. They look and feel a little bit snug, but only at the front of the shoe. Though. Other than that, everything is fine. And it's not bothersome at all. Yeah, I think these are hard, but you gotta have the matching Supreme socks, right? Yeah, yeah we do. Yep, I love it. Alright. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know which one you like the most. Like, do you like these better? Or do you like the black ones better? And second question for you guys is, do you think they actually copied the Skeptas? Sort of feels like they did, didn't they? I don't mind though. Love them both. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.